What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. Bryce Mack. Listen, real quick. We're going to take things on a different route. All right, for the last, i say, about four, almost five months, I've been on a, a weight loss kick. And so far, I'm down 34 pounds. Now, usually, I enjoy being bigger. I enjoy just being stronger. But I came to realize at almost 319 pounds, that it was just too much. I couldn't do it no more. Not only was I big and strong, but I also gained a huge gut. Mad love handles. I ain't got no love for those. They actually made me pretty mad. <laughs> but anywho, guys, I'm on this whole kick where I'm actually, I'm enjoying this cutting process. You know, I'm down 34 pounds since June's. And by my birthday, December 10th, I hope to be down by about 45 pounds. We'll see. It's more than achievable, but I don't know if I quite want to get down that low. Anywho, things are going great. And I'm going to try and get some more content up, up to you. I'm not going to lie. I've been getting a little discouraged. It's hard to make content when you really don't know what to post about. You know, um... I know a lot of you guys recommend things, but then I just end up answering it to you in person when I should just go and answer it on here. But things might take a turn for the better. I don't know. I've been spending some time off work lately due to a back injury. Now, it's an injury that occurred several years ago. Not several about two three years ago but it's just now catching up with me and I've had to take some serious time off of work I'm back now I've only been back to work for about two days but in that two days that I've been back to work it didn't take long for things to flare back up so I'm probably gonna be spending more time off work more time than I want to but as an advantage not even an advantage it's just the bright side of things I guess I get to spend more time in the gym and I get to spend more time possibly making more content so if you would like me to provide you with more content if i'm going to put more content out then i'm going to need you guys to step it up just as much i'm going to step it up we got to work together on this i haven't decided whether i'm going to go in and film my workout yet so i figured i'd sit outside for a little bit let pre-workout kick in and just talk to you guys a little bit more like i said i want to change it up so I'm going to go more into detail about how I went about losing 34 pounds. Better yet, how I went about losing 34 pounds of fat. Because back in June, when I was weighing in at almost 319 pounds, goodness gracious, I gained a huge gut. Okay, I hate I, everything. I mean, I just blew up. And at the time, I figured, you know what, what the heck, I like being big, I like being strong. You know, it's just always been an obsession of mine to be bigger and stronger than the next guy. But what I learned was, I got too greedy. <laughs> Literally, I started consuming everything. And it wasn't even all bad food, but the point is, I got excessive in my eating, I got, ex I got lazy in the gym, I just began to pull that whole one to three reps kind of thing and just lifting for strength not necessarily worrying about hypertrophy and building muscle I just was worrying about looking big even if I had a big gut so anywho I learned to be more effective and what I say about more effective is for example I wake up every morning anywhere from 3 30 a.m. to 4 30 a.m. and instead of me sitting up watching TV you who <laughs> Instead of watching YouTube, YouTube, I instead go to the gym and watch YouTube. I get on the, I just do cardio. I call it cab, cardio and abs. And it has proven to be highly effective for this guy. It's just one of those things that I've just got rid of over the years. And it brought it back and I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with myself. I think for the first time in a long while, since probably I, the last time I've been like absolutely lean and I've seen abs like all the way through was probably about two years, no, three years ago. And 
It's exciting to be able to start to see some things I have not seen in three years. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue the abs. I'm going to continue the cardio. And oh, not to mention, I've been going to the gym twice a day. Not, not only am I getting up in the morning and going to do my cardio and abs, but I'm also going late, later in the evening, say usually around like six or later, and I'm doing my full on workout. So that way I have, I'm allowing my body time to recover and rest in between. And again, that makes, that means I'm being efficient, you know. Even back to what I was saying as far as being excessive what I was eating, sometimes I would have, I would have like five big meals. And on top of those five big meals, I'd have Lenny and Larry's cookies. I'm sure you all know what those are. They're like 360 calories, but you know, I said to hell with it. I'm like, it's just a snack, no. No, that was 360 extra calories I did not need. So just by cutting those cookies out every day, boom, I created a deficient right off the back. So it could be as simple as cutting out some chips. It can be, if you drink five cans of soda, cutting out two cans, you know, and you'll notice the little differences, you know, difference about the way you look, the difference in your stomach, the difference in the way you feel, your energy levels will be a little bit higher, you know, just by cutting out the little stuff. Now, after, eventually you'll have to take a little bit bigger leap and just get down straight down to it and cut out the bigger stuff and start thinking smarter. I always tell people it's common sense in, in doing this, whether you're gaining weight, losing weight, it's really common sense in what you're doing. Um, and what I mean by that is you know what's good for you, you know what's bad for you. You know what's too much, you know what's too little. Find your median. Another good way to keep track of what you're doing is by keeping a journal entry, okay? I, back when I'm, I'm at the point, you know, I've been doing this long enough to where I can keep track of it and I can keep it all up here. But there's some times when I need to know what is working, what is not working. Like if I'm trying something new, I'll write it down so that way in a couple weeks I'll go and I'll reevaluate, I'll look at it, see how that worked. If it didn't work, you know, I'll kind of revise it a little bit and then go at it again. Um, also, when you are losing weight, losing fat, a lot of people are so focused on losing fat that they don't, they stop, they stop caring about muscle, okay? Now, if you didn't already know this, the more muscle mass you have in lean muscle mass or muscle period, you know, it's going to help the fat loss process. And um, yeah, definitely keep on like your lifting regimen. It doesn't have to be as intense, but it's definitely a good idea to keep, keep at uh, cardio abs and your regular lifting routine. Yeah. Um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, this is a really long clip. If you're still with me, thank you. Um, again, you guys, I'm always open for suggestions. If you need something that I'm not touching on, which I'm not touching on a lot, but I'm really, 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 really wanting to give this YouTube thing a serious go. So, again, I would really appreci appreciate you all if we all just kind of came together to make this channel better, a lot better.